as I'm sure you've seen by now, the Clippers and the Portland Trailblazers made that trade a couple hours ago that was sending Robert Coverton, Norman Powell to the Clippers for Keon Johnson, Eric Bledsoe, Justice Winslow, and a future second round draft pick to Portland. Now, with all that being said, the Clippers improved their roster for this season and going into the next year. The Portland Trailblazers made that move for salary cap purposes. If I'm Damian Lillard, I'm thinking, what the hell is going on here? You got me stuck with Eric Bledsoe, and you give away Norman Powell and Robert Coverton like it was nothing? I thought we were going to be trying to push for a playoff spot. Damian Lillard is not out for the rest of the season. He will be back. He will be back. Not sure when, but he will be back. So how do you fight for a postseason playoff berth with Eric Bledsoe? Come on now. No disrespect to him, but he's not that good. He's just not that good. Alright? He's not. He just isn't. Look, at the end of the day, the Clippers got better. Shout out to them. When they get Paul George back, that roster is going to look really good with Robert Coverton, Norman Powell, Ibaka, Zubak, Marcus Morris, Brandon Boston, Reggie Jackson, Nicholas Batum. They got guys everywhere now. Luke Kennard is still there. Who knows if he'll be there, though, by the trade deadline, by the time that's over with. He could still be possibly moved. If not, that roster is stacked. It's one of the most complete rosters, if not the most complete roster, in this league. And then, Kawhi. They're talking about reports now that he could potentially not be coming back. If that's the case, that's still fine. Paul George did a terrific job last year when Kawhi got hurt. Helped them win some playoff games. Won a playoff series. Um, they can make some noise in the postseason adding Norman Powell and Robert Coverton. But with all that being said, let's talk about some even bigger news. Philly and Brooklyn are heating up trade talks, including James Harden. Now, Brooklyn said they wasn't going to move James Harden before the trade deadline. They was going to keep him. But now, they're talking about trading him. They're open to trading him. And Philly will welcome him with open arms. No, no fucking shit, right? Because Ben Simmons, he hasn't played all year. I'm sure Ben Simmons and some others would go to Brooklyn for James Harden. It's absolutely crazy to even think about this. Because James Harden could have been in Philly in the first place. He would have never been to Brooklyn. He could have already been in Philly with Joel Embiid. But now, it's heating up. It looks like a deal could get done. And speaking of James Harden, he's not playing tonight. He is out against Utah. Injury, or maybe they're setting up that trade to go down very soon. I don't know what the case may be, but Kyrie is going to be out there by himself tonight if he plays. And if I'm Kevin Durant, I'm the only one out of the trio to sign an extension. I understand that they're waiting to see if they can get more money. That's what players usually do. Look, at the end of the day, I came here because of Kyrie. He's a part-timer. I helped get James Harden here. I welcomed him here. Now he's leaving. Where does that leave me? Do I stay in Brooklyn long term? Do I ask for a trade in the future? It could get real ugly for Brooklyn real fast. James Harden. Kyrie. KD, all together. Now, who knows? KD could be there by himself. There's no, there's no um, guarantee that Kyrie is signing an extension with Brooklyn. There's no guarantee that he's going to stay there. Who knows? With Kyrie, we don't really know. But, yeah, man, big news from Adrian Wojnarowski, Brooklyn, Philly, could be working on a potential trade. They could send James Harden to Philly. It's going down. The trade deadline is in six days. Trade talks. Rumors are heating up. This is why I love the NBA trade deadline. It's always better than the NFL deadline every year. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Turn those post notifications on so you don't miss a video. And hit that like button. I'll see you guys next time, man. It's going down. I will be here. To break the news, if it happens, but it's looking like it's a very, very 
good possibility of Philly acquiring James Harden. 